so we have more in common than I thought. I also spent a lot of time in the nurse's office. Um, <laughs> mine was more anxiety around uh, lunchtime. I never knew where to sit. I moved a ton, so I never had a core group of friends that I really mm. identified with. Um, so that was like my out as well. And I cannot wait to get into your parenting segment that you have on like your bonus um, bonus right. content because a lot of this, we have um, an almost two-year-old. A lot of it, I try to apply to him in parenting because for me, it's like I feel like I've done a lot of work to get where I am now and I'm really in like a happy place and just continually like trying to to grow and um, <clears throat> to learn and just improve myself. But it's like I see all of this potential with him, right? And how can right. I avoid as many missteps as possible with parenting? And a lot of people call it conscious parenting and, um, and all of that. I had one specific question um, from a selfish standpoint. So there's that age-old – saying that you're like you you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with right yeah. so it's like very important to be cognizant of where like who you're surrounding yourself with and i feel like when it comes to kids if you tell them to go left they usually want to go right <laughs> Like if they go through that rebellious stage. So when um, they're developing and kind of figuring out their sense of identity, how would you say um, yeah. to parent that, uh, I guess, that lesson to them in like the way that they're going to absorb it mm. um, more than fight it? I, I, I feel you. Um, so I'm, I'm not, not an expert on, on parenting, but the strategies that we teach are definitely brain-based in mm -hmm. terms of regardless of what age or what stage somebody is in. Um, certainly, you know, this phrase that we are the people we spend time with, the average of the people we spend time with, there's there's definitely some truth to that. And uh, we always tend to imitate the people around us. We have something in, in our nervous system called mirror neurons where we tend to adopt. I always tell people to watch, W-A-T-C-H. I use a lot of acronyms <laughs> to make it memorable. But um, we start imitating the W, which is, people's words, you know, um, children will start using the same language as, um, as, as people in their household, you know, mm -hmm. certainly, and, and those of their friends, the, uh, a and watch stands for actions. And, uh, regardless of our age, we start imitating the behaviors of the people around us, uh, the gestures, the mannerisms, the, the activities, um, the T and watch stands for our thoughts you know, which is that kind of that internal language that we have, which, you know, thoughts are very powerful. Um, they're, you know, the, the mind, thoughts are the language of the mind, feelings are kind of like the language of our bodies. And we start having the same kind of thoughts as the people around us um, that are in our environment. Like when, when I was a child, I was slowing down a class and a teacher, you know, said in front of the whole class that that's the boy with the broken brain. And, you know, that thought I, I was imprinted on me, right? It's not something I was mm -hmm. born with, and but I that became my my dominant thought. Every single time I did badly on a you know an exam or a book report or wasn't picked for sports, which was pretty often, I would always say, "Oh, because I have the broken brain." You know that thought. Um, ch children just absorb those things, um, mm -hmm. and then finally the C and the H, the C uh, character. You know, in terms of uh, of who we are and the standards that we have. Um, I read recently. Somebody shared a quote saying integrity is measured by the distance between somebody's lips and their life. And mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of interesting. You know, mm -hmm. I always feel like it's better well done than well said. But um, mm -hmm. and then finally, the HR habits. And that we tend to pick up the same habits as the people we spend time with, eating habits, you know, their study habits, their entertainment habits. You know, so it's not just our neurological networks. It's really our social networks. Mm -hmm. And um you know, and I, I think the things that I'll, I'll say when it comes to to whether you're it's a teacher or a parent or anyone working with children, I believe it's better well done than well said, meaning that, you know, it's not just we say it, we show it, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of even online, you know, I think it's nice to post quotes and it's, you know, it's better than we don't promise it, but we prove it. And I think that the life we live are the lessons that we teach. Mm -hmm. You know, the life we live are lessons we currently teach others. And so they won't, I don't think children will so much do as, as we say, as more as, as, as what we do, you know, mm -hmm. my, my, my goal is even if somebody has somebody in their household that they want to change, I mean, I don't know if it's possible to change somebody else. Just right. think about how hard it is to change ourselves. Exactly. But I think we could be an expiring example for somebody. Mm -hmm. Um, 
you know, and that's, I think that's leadership, you know, mm-hmm. whatever, our, whatever hat or role we're playing.